Hi, Vasily. Nice to see you. Hi, Michael. Nice to see you too. I'm very excited about 6.3. I guess you are too. It's been a few months of work now. Yes, that's true. A lot of work that we have put in this version to make it the best ever. Like we always try. Yeah. Yes. And we have something here in 6.3 that I think you and I, we want to show the, the users, right? Yeah, it's a very cool feature that I believe everyone is looking forward to. I think many have waited for this. Um, yes. Why don't yes. we Why don't we jump right in? I see you're sharing your screen already. Yes, and I'm really excited to uh, show you, uh, and not only you, but to all our users, uh, this great feature. Uh, it's about the project password manager. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. So, um, what do we have here? Um, we have a project uh, which is password protected. Okay. So, Let's open it. And I bet it's a very strong password. Yes, as always. Um, I'm not That's sure if I remember it. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> um, I see a message here, um, which informs me that there is a project password manager. Mm -hmm. So let's. Are you learn tired more. of entering the project password every time? Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. So. I will not enter the password here, but I will try the project password manager. Let's do that, so, yeah. Yeah, I will cancel the dialogue. How do you do this? So at first I need to add uh, the corresponding license. Mm -hmm. So I will do that right away. And I see you use the licensing dialogue of yeah. PS6.3. And I see it takes a long time for you because you have a lot of licenses for CD. Correct, correct. But there it is. Um, Yes, it's here. So let's add the license. I'm adding the license. I will use it on the cloud. And here you go. The license and what, is And what added. has changed now in the settings? Do we have something? Um, that's a, a good question. So if we go to the data storage, we see that there is a checkbox here. Store project access rights in my KNX. Okay. By means of which we will be able to store the project passwords directly in my KNX. Let's do it. But not the passwords itself, right? Of course they are, not. They are course hashed, not. as far as I know. So we All don't right. actually know the user passwords, but the users can help themselves, right? So they are Correct. anonymized for us. Yeah. Correct. For security reasons, we store the hashed uh, version of the passwords. Yeah. And this is only a one-way process. So. Uh, we cannot revert back from the hash to the real password. Mm. So we have enabled the setting and we have our project. And what's different so, now is? Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm opening oh. the project. It still and, asks for the password. Correct, because it's the first time. And as you can see, the uh, a blue uh, informative message has disappeared. So mm -hmm. as this is the first time that we're opening our project with the project password manager license, we have to... Uh, enter the password for the first and the last time. So I will type it in. Okay, it's a strong password. Yes, indeed. Um, and now we're in the project and let's make a modification. I will go to the outside and I will add the swimming pool, which we have forgotten to add when we uh, designed our project. So you can see the swimming pool is here. Just now when summer is over, we are adding a swimming pool. Yeah, yeah, very good. We are preparing ourselves for the next summer. For next season. Yeah. So I'm closing the project. Mm -hmm. And the next time I'm going to open the project. Ta -da! Oh, that's cool. It didn't ask. Yeah, indeed. It didn't ask. It remembered the passwords I entered previously, and yep. it just let me open my project. Very nice. So this and will this, be especially changing between projects. This is a big time saver, right? Yes, of course. And especially if you have a very long and uh, difficult password, it definitely saves time from typing or copy-pasting the project every time. And moreover, in this way, you do not have to um, retype the password every time. And yeah. I think that's the, the main advantage of that. Moreover, what is also essential to say is that uh, it will, ETS will not ask for a password when exporting a project 
as a separate file or when exporting this project into the archive. So we even gain time there. And I believe, Vasily, this is also a big saver when you ever forget your project password, right? Correct. This can also help in that case, but I think we should cover this maybe in a separate session. Yes, indeed. But this, I think everybody can agree, this is a very helpful feature. Um, and we are very excited to make this available now. Um, yes. So, yeah, very nice. Good. Thank you, Vasilios. Thank you, Michael. Enjoy the rest of the day and everyone enjoy 6.3. Yes.